How crazy would it be if at the end of your trial, the jury asked the judge to read back all of the testimony from the entire trial? You think the judge will allow that? You wanna know the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. And in all likelihood, the judge is gonna say, no, 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 no. Even though you have a legal right to hear all the testimony read back, the reality is that that will take up a tremendous amount of time. Let's say you've been on trial for two or three weeks. Do you really think the judge is now gonna have the court reporter sit there for another two weeks reading back all of the testimony, all of the questions and all of the answers that were given from every single witness? In all likelihood, that's not going to happen. Instead, the judge is much more likely to turn to the jury and say, listen, I understand you've asked to read back all of the testimony. That tells me one of two things. Either you were all sleeping when you heard the testimony the first time, or there's a specific area you want to focus on and re-listen to, but don't know the proper procedure to ask for it. So let me explain the proper procedure. And in all likelihood, the judge is going to say to the jury, listen, go back and discuss it amongst yourselves to decide which area you're unclear about and identify which witness you're talking about and identify whether it's direct examination or cross-examination. This way we can narrow down the issues that you're concerned about and then have the court reporter pull out those sections of testimony so now we can have those sections read back. That is a much more efficient way to go ahead and address your concerns rather than having to listen to the entire trial all over again. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into what goes on in these civil lawsuits that go to trial and now the jury has questions that they need answered. You know, I understand you're watching this video because you have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.